a brief overview of the highs and lows for the French national football team. From left, France's Olivier Giroud, Steven Enzonzi, Presnel Kimpembe and Corent and Toliso celebrated their World Cup victory over Uruguay on Friday. Credit Guerrilla Cadrats have agents France Press, Getty Images, the French men's soccer team, popularly referred to as Les Blues by its supporters, has a long history of deep runs in the World Cup tournament. This will be the team's sixth appearance in the semi-finals. Some other stats. First appearance, 1930 total appearances, 15 out of 20 World Cup tournaments title wins, 1 What's the history of bitter defeat for the age set the 1982 World Cup semi-finals, France faced West Germany in a match that is recognized as among the most dramatic in World Cup history. Knotted at 3-3 after extra time, West Germany would emerge victorious in the sudden death shootout the first time that penalties would decide a match in the World Cup tournament. The game is remembered for the brutal collision between the German goalie Harold Schumacher and France's Patrick Batistin, who was knocked unconscious and suffered three cracked ribs, two missing teeth and a damaged vertebra. A World Cup victory in 1998 the French national team won the World Cup beating Brazil 3-0. The title win was hailed as a victory for a multicultural vision of France because of the diverse makeup of the team. As the Times reported at the time. At the game's conclusion, the steely defender Lillian Taram grabbed a tricolor, jogged to a corner of the stadium and waved it joyously, signaling that this was not merely a victory for French soccer, but also for French ethnic diversity. Taram was born in Guadeloupe. Zinedine Zidane is the son of an Algerian night watchman. Marcel Desailly was born in Ghana. Others are of Armenian and Polish descent. Tonight's victory was a rebuke, in an athletic sense anyway, of the anti-immigration stand by Jean-Marie Le Pen and the right-wing National Front Party that has gained popularity in recent years. Image the players strike at the 2010 World Cup The French national team boycotted training in protest after striker Nicolas Anelka was expelled for shouting obscenities at his coach. Anelka was given an 18-game suspension by the French Football Federation, effectively ending his international career. Three other players who had helped lead the boycott were given suspensions as well, and the team limped through a last-place finish in the group stage. How did they get here? France went undefeated in the group stage, putting forward a solid performance. They beat Australia, 2-1, shut out Peru, 1-0, and fought to a 0-0 draw with Denmark to advance to the round of 16. In the knockout stage, France came from behind during a much-anticipated matchup with Argentina, to score three goals in 11 minutes, ultimately winning, 4-3. In the quarter-finals France rolled over Uruguay with a 2-0 victory. What's at stake on top of hoping to recreate the achievements of the French team of 1998? This year's players share another trait with their predecessors that extend beyond the pitch. The 2018 team is led by star Kylian Mbappe and includes other players from the Banlieues, a vast sprawl of multicultural suburbs and satellite towns around Paris that is home to the greatest pool of soccer talent in Europe. As in 1998, a win for the French national team could be regarded as win for a multicultural vision of France.